Okay, so maybe you've been poking around your router settings or some other kind of networking device settings and you've come across a setting known as MSS. Well, what is MSS? That's probably why you found this video is to answer that question. Now, the simple answer, I'll jump straight to the point here. Uh, the simple answer is MSS is, stands for maximum segment size and it is the maximum amount of data payload that can live in one packet. So in order to understand how MSS, the, the number is actually derived, you also have to understand MTU. You probably know that MTU is equal to 1500 bytes most of the time. There are other network types that have different MTUs and whether you're using jumbo frames or not, but anything with a default route, anything that is going to be routed over the, over the internet is going to have to be contained within that 1500 bytes. So the IP header and the TCP header. So e even with UDP, it's all got to fit in that 1500 bytes. So you have IP header, TCP header, and what's left is the data. And that what's left is equal to the MSS. So since everything has to live within that 1500 bytes, um, every time you add additional stuff to the IP header or the TCP header, it knocks off a little bit of the MSS value. Okay, so what we're gonna do is do a simple capture. And to do a demonstration, what I'll do is I'll just open up Wireshark, do a simple capture filter here of TCP. Boom, that's it. Now open up Chrome and Chrome opens a lot of TCP sessions. So we should be able to quickly get something here. And open up Wireshark again. There we go, we got stuff. Let's cap, let's turn that off. So now, the reason why I chose Chrome is because I know that, that Google opens up a lot of TCP sessions and Google uses a different MSS than what we're going to be seeing here. So if you look at my capture, my side of the connection, Destro, is an MSS of 1460. Now, how is that number derived? The number 1460 um, is, well, 1500 MTU minus 40 bytes of header. So minus 20 bytes of IP header, minus 20 bytes of TCP header. So 1500 minus 40 is 1460. Well, if you look at the Google side of the connection, right here, um, you notice they use a different MSS of 1380. Now we could pick through the packets and possibly try and figure out why, but what's going on here is probably somewhere in, in Google's network, they're doing some tunneling, which is going to have to create additional header information. So it's going to lower the MSS. Now, if you notice that there is, um, I'm at 1460, they're at 1380. We always have to use, TCP is always going to choose the lower of the two because otherwise there'll be fragmentation. So in this negotiation, in the three-way handshake, that's when this is figured out because the MSS TCP option, looking down here into the TCP options is going to be just located in the SIN packet. So there's several TCP options that are just in the SIN packet. And this is one of them. This is actually the original TCP option. This option is goes all the way back to RFC 793. So it is the original, it is the, the OG of TCP options here. And so, and it's going to only be in the SIN packet because adding TCP options lower or, or increases the, um, the size of the TCP header. So if this maximum segment size option were in every single TCP packet, it will actually lower the MSS because it's taking away, because everything has to fit in that 1500 bytes. And um, so the less TCP options that are used um, means that the MSS can actually be higher. So that's why there are certain options that will only live in the SIN packet because once they are established, um, back and forth through the three-way handshake, it, they're no longer necessary to be in every single packet. Some other f situations that will cause a lower MSS are things like tunneling, G GRE tunneling, IPsec, that kind of thing. We'll have to add additional header information in order to make that connection happen. So if you are running jumbo frames and say you're running a 9,000 MTU, this MSS will expand in order to fill that up. So TCP is aware of the higher MTU and it can ex expand actually infinitely. As, as far as I've read, I'm pretty sure that the higher the MTU, the higher the MSS. So it's going to be directly correlated to the MTU. So this was a nice short one, easy topic. It was pretty obvious. So hope you learned something. Thanks for watching.